877-692-1027. Same thing there in those movies, though. Always a white guy and a little Asian girl. Mm-hmm. That's the way it hooks up. That's never, the formula. Never a white guy. A white girl goes over and meets a nice Asian guy. And they're happy. <laughs> it just doesn't work that way. It does in this city. What? <laughs> in New York. they All of those racial things are get mixed up. Who let you out of your cage? No, I'm just saying. If he has a cage, lock it. <laughs> like all the ones that seem normal, like you were mentioning, in this city, everything goes. What do you mean? Human beings being able to date human beings? No, just all the different races. Well, which, well I'm sorry. Well, uh, the normal ones as opposed to what? The ones that just look strange together. All right. Tell me, what. first of all, you think is normal. Well, like a normal one would be if you see like a white guy with an Asian girl that you mentioned or even a black guy with an Asian girl. Or maybe even a black guy with a white girl. That seems... I don't take a double take when I see that. Because you see two people Look, walking together? I'm very confused by what your point is. I'm just saying that there are some interracial couples that when I look at it, it doesn't... It, it, it seems to make sense. And others, when I see them on the street, I do like a double take. All right, give me one that doesn't weird. make sense to you. All right, yeah, go ahead. One that uh, apparently doesn't fall on your normal list. If you see, like, a white girl with an Asian guy. Now, I why never would see that. What would be wrong with that? <laughs> it just seems weird. I never see it. So, uh, what you have to do is see things more before you accept them. Well, just, yeah, it seems more socially acceptable. At, at what time. do you mean that socially? One... Well, that I'm probably not the only one doing the double take. All right, who else? Down the who else? I would love to see this huh? Huh? double take you well, do. I don't understand. I don't see, like, a lot of white guys with black girls. You see the opposite, like black guys with white girls, but not the uh, white guy with a black girl. That I always do a double take for. I see that on the subway. If you see a white guy and a black girl. Yeah, because it just, I don't know, I never see it. Oh, so by the weird. way, Robert De Niro on line eight. <laughs> but that's he's kind of known for that because it's it's weird. Like, it's it looks it's different. I thought he was known for his films. You wouldn't date a, 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 a black girl? No, nah, probably yeah. not. You won't date a white girl. You won't date any girl. No, I, I would date white girls. Will you date a black guy? No, I don't date any guys. Really? Yeah. Hey, uh, Legroom. Legroom, you're on running Fez. Hey, Legroom. Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Asian guys aren't in porn either. Asian guys? Well, they're in Asian porn. Oh, yeah, but not in American porn. We can't make it in this industry. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, the shrinky dinks. Yeah, believe yeah. me, there's not even that many white guys in the... <laughs> <laughs> they ain't for me, too, man. All right, that's it. Thank there. you, Legroom. Uh, what else is weird for you, Al? Yeah, what's... Uh, if you see a black girl with an Asian guy, you never I see I see it. it all the time. I never see it. Take you the F train. Queens is so interracially mixed now. Yeah, well, and it is the future, Al. I know you, you call some things normal, but you would do a double take if you saw that and you're just walking down the street. I wouldn't do a double take no matter who I see. <laughs> like that looks, that's kind of weird. <laughs> or any, any like of the Indians from India, when they're with anybody other than an Indian from India, looks very strange. All right, so you're saying that Eastern Indians don't mix with Anybody. any other race. Yeah, it looks strange whether they're with uh, white people, black people, Chinese. It just looks strange if they're not with other Eastern Indians. So Indian people should stay with just other Indians. Yeah. Now, are you throwing in all Middle Easterners in that or just actual Indians? I see it mostly with Indians, but... Thinking about it, it would it would probably be strange for yeah any of the Middle Easterners. But nut. Here is uh, Victoria. Victoria, you're on Rana Fez. Hey, Victoria. Hi, How you doing? Good. What can we do for you tonight, Victoria? I just wanted to say that um, Al Dukes is a buffoon. Um, sure. I happen to be bi biracial. My father's white and my mother's black, and people don't even flinch when they see them together. Hang on, I need I to do a double take. I mean, like, what century are you living in? Are you in like 1955 in like Mississippi? No, I'm just saying it would it, it 
it would do a double take. They wouldn't say anything. It's nothing to be mean about, but you would look and go, oh, that's interesting. You don't see that very often. I mean, you must live in a bubble. No. Woodbridge. I live in Woodbridge. Oh, that's right. That's right. That basically is a bubble, though. I mean, I, that's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. No, I'm saying it's just you don't see it as often you, as you see You don't get out in New York City. You've got to walk around New York City. You'll see all the races dating each other and getting along great. So you are saying, you're trying to tell us that a black guy with a white girl, that's normal to you. Yeah, I see that But a not lot. the other way around. Yeah, the so other you, way. that's completely odd. Yeah, that seems very odd. Now, I, I think it's more rare for a black guy with a white girl. No, you see that constantly, in, even in the media. Like like uh, the, rap, the rap stars. Oh, I it's, thought you meant like the anchor men. No, you just you see the it people a lot. doing the news. Uh, you will see a lot of black girls doing the news with white guys. So that's okay with you when you see a black guy with a white girl. Yeah, they normally like with the fatter chicks, the big girls. Big girl, who's I don't understand. What are you saying? Like the the black guys when they date the the uh, white women. They normally like the bigger ones. The women are? Yeah, they like them. They're like bigger women. God, Al, please. So, now you're saying you, the norm is fat white girls dating black men. Just though, yeah, they're normally bigger women. Can I have a que Can I ask you a question, Al? Yeah. Do you want to? Well, not really, but go ahead. Um, I'm mad at you. Um, now I, I happen to be half black, half white. Who should I date? Yeah, that's a good question. In this world of yours, as you parent people off like Noah. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I, I I don't know what would I'm what would sure. be appropriate. Yeah, I don't know. Al would have to see you to see what the more dominant features right. are. Uh, hmm. So who is she supposed to date, Al? Who? Who is there for her? Who's there for Victoria? I don't know. <laughs> it, I would. I really haven't thought about that one very often. Who could you see her with? And I'm very pretty, by the way. Now, does she finally get to date? Now, is this a person that can date an Asian? Like Lisa Bonet. <laughs> you you right. wouldn't date Lisa Bonet. No, I wouldn't, no. Oh, you're... S <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. All right, thank you very much, Victoria. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Victoria. Bye. Sean, Sean, you're on Ron Fez. Hi, Sean. Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm listening to this. Al's killing me. Is is Al Duke related to like David Duke? No. Because this is a clans meeting oh, waiting no. to happen. All the Dukes stick How's together. How's that, David? I, it's not racist or anything. This I'm just saying when you 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 don't see it very often. You do a double take. It looks where insane. don't you see it? What Bridge, Jersey, or in the uh, mall over there? What mall do you go to? Or inside your own apartment? You just don't see a lot of interracial dating. Al's got to get out more, man. No, I'm out. I come to the city here. I I go from here. I go uh, down to Penn Station. That's not seeing the city. You take a cab from here to Penn Station. <laughs> you, uh, you know, it's a, a ride that you can still see. Al doesn't even believe in intergender dating. <sighs> I'm always defending Al. This why is what's killing me. I spend what, Sean, all my time who, defending Al to my girlfriend. And why do you defend them for any reason? I, if, if I you, feel bad for the guy. I mean... He's just the beat-on pillow, but all of a sudden, I kick him a couple more times, guys, because this is bad news. He, This is who he is. He said a million things like this. He's always has these racist views. I figure you guys get into a slump. Things are running a little slow. You just grab Al and tell him to say something stupid, and then people will call him. But come on, this is like natural. It's flowing from the guy. He's put so much into it. We were in the middle of a fantastic surf movie bit. <laughs> that we, we could have, love. We could have ran that for an hour and a half. I right, thanks, Sean. All right. 877-692-1027. Kevin, you're on run Fez. Hey, Kevin. Hey, guys. I'm just wondering, did Al never watch The Jeffersons? No, but that was... That was uh, something that, that people was a would white definitely. Guy with a black yeah, woman. and that was that was strange to people. I know it was. That was 25 years ago, right. Al, and even, we accepted it then. Even more so. But here, 20. <laughs> Here's what I hate about Al. You can never get him to understand. <laughs> 25 years ago, that was considered hey, that's odd. Right. But still, now if you see it on the reruns, you still say, oh, that's interesting. Please get on an F train and just ride back and forth for a day and see that everybody in the city mixes together. And just look at some people in this town. 
I love the way Al Dukes always just has everything to life planned out. Everything is mapped out for him. Al does a double take when he sees one of those black and white cookies. He's like, I don't understand it. He can't stand those. They offend him. They're not normal cookies, Ronnie. Thanks, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, Danks. Hey, buddies, how are you? Yeah. Good, buddy. All right. Here's my thing. I've been listening for quite some time, but uh, unfortunately I tend to miss a lot of the show because of my schedule. Okay. I have never, I totally agree with your last caller. I never understood why you guys pick on Al Duke so much, but tonight it finally makes sense. It, 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 it all comes together. How does it make sense, Danks? Well, it, it, it makes sense because Al, Al really is on, he's on Earth 2. He's got no clue what's going on. He's got no clue about what's around him. And isn't Wooden Bridge like a, a mecca for, like, skinheads or something? Is that it? Or no. you, thank you very much. Not you live in some kind of skinhead community? No, it's... Uh... Uh, give, us, uh, give us normal and abnormal for you, Al. Well, I would say things that uh, seem normal... Uh, like a Puerto Rican guy with a white girl, a uh, black guy with a Puerto Rican girl. A, uh, let's see. I, I, he's trying to picture him in his head. Look I'm at him, Ronnie. I'm trying to even figure out. So you okay with a black guy and a Puerto Rican girl? That's okay. I wouldn't give. Yeah, I wouldn't do a double uh, take. What about a Puerto Rican guy and a black girl? Puerto Rican guy. Mm, no, I wouldn't see that. Why not? It's hard to explain. It, it just doesn't seem like. It, what about no, an Italian guy it. and a black girl? No, that's kind of the same as just like a white guy and a black girl. The opposite way, I I see that a lot, but not the not the white guy and, and black girl. Mike, you're on Ron and Fez. Yeah, Ron, I support Al Dukes 100%. Oh, there you go, Al. I don't believe in mixing the races either. And, uh, you know, I know Fezzy will never have this problem, but Ron, you come home one night, your daughter's sitting on the couch with one of these rubber lit. uh you know, Rusty Locks people. What you know, do you do? People are so scared no. of black people. I think Al's in favor of mixing the races. Right. He just wants them mixed a certain way. Yeah, just see Which it. is the bizarre thing. All right, Pixie writes in and says, according to Al, no one wants black women. And Pixie's <laughs> adorable. She came in here that night and we all had a crush on her. There's no room in your plan for black he women. Does, <laughs> he doesn't want to see, even see black men and black women. He's offended and disgusted by it. And, Ronnie, he'll do one of his patented double takes. At least you're not doing spit takes on these people. No, I appreciate it, that much. I have, yeah, I'm not saying I don't, I have a problem with the races mixing. I'm just saying it's just, I'll take a double take because I don't see these very often. And they just seem Do you awkward. think it's because you go straight from here in a cab to Penn Station, you rush back to Jersey and rush to your apartment and really don't go out? And the only couple you see is Billy and Rory. Oh, I see. I certainly see enough going back and forth to Penn Station. <laughs> Doing what? Going by 60 miles an hour? <laughs> Sitting in the middle of the back seat? Every night. He never gets a turn at the window. Ryan Pest, 1027 WMEW.